one of the questions that we regularly get is, Marcus, in your seminar and in your workshop, you always say that hyperthermia is a very tough treatment. Now, why is that so? Well, overcoming that fever barrier, allowing the body to go into fever is like climbing up a hill. And it's a tough hill and you need to overcome a lot of ego and a lot of res uh, resistance to get up here. And just like me getting up this mountain here, I'm proud when I'm up here and I really feel great that I've managed and my whole body is going into a very positive vibration. But to get up here wasn't easy. And many times on the way, I thought I would give up. I would stop. I would not go on. And look, this rock here is fine enough. I don't need to be right at the top. And it's the same with hypothermia. As soon as you start at 38, you start, oh, that's enough. I don't need more. It's too hot. It doesn't feel good. Then at 38.5, you go into a frenzy. That's usually me. You know, like I'm not saying everybody, but me, I go into a frenzy. I could kick off that dome and get out. And I need to have someone with me that convinces me that this is actually something I want to do and that it feels good if I do it and that it's something that will help me in the long run if I overcome that hurdle. So pushing through and going through, then at 39, it's and I have to blend in those numbers at 39 it feels like okay I can make it to the end and then it's very easy once you get close to the top and you get into that real fever state then it's just like on its own and you can relax into it and then when you made it you feel wow you feel just great and that's the same thing here it's overcoming of your own resistance your own sluggishness <laughs> you know the pump is working like crazy your blood is pushed through you have tripled the amount of heartbeat it's like a marathon climbing up a mountain and then you have extreme high oxygen needs so put up the little cannula and breathe in oxygen while you do at least now and then and that will help you to get through and then it's willpower and that's why if you climb two people I went up alone today but if you have someone with you who does hypothermia, then you will find that by doing so, you have someone that encourages you and keeps you going, cools down your head, gives you something to drink. You know, just the touch alone is really beautiful and nice. So just pull it through. And when you get up to the top, and let me climb up to the highest rock on the hill, and it actually feels great being up here, you will see that you will feel amazing. And the effects, you know, are just stunning. I'll mention them very short. Loads of white blood cell being produced and pushed out into your bloodstream. They are produced in the bone marrow. I don't want to wobbly and fall down. The second factor is that you detoxify massively. You will flush out tons of toxins into your pyjama and check it out afterwards. You can send it to the lab. It's going to be pretty toxic. And then the third factor is that you oxygenate and energize your system so that you feel afterwards like you've done a big marathon and a big sport event. Plus the oxygen uptake will boost your immune system to work a lot better. And that's all we want. So there's so many positive factors. Plus at 39 or 39.5 fever, your pathogens die off. Lyme bacteria, Lyme uh, um, um, virus, uh, mold, candida, all of that dies off. So you're cleansing the body of pathogens and infections. And then you add on top of that, that cancer cells, and you know, every healthy person has cancer cells. So you kill off a lot of cancer cells as well, which is a really beautiful effect. So um, they die off at about 39, 39.5 they start. And it's not that you kill cancer cells. You boost your immune system, you weaken the cancer cell, you flag them with heat shock proteins, and that will then make out that they die off. So stunning treatment, worth to put the effort in and to fight your way to the top of the hill. But when you get there, you know, the health effects last for a whole week. And then you continue doing another whole week um, like every week, every week, four, five, six, eight, ten weeks, 
and you will feel with every time you do it, you get stronger, you get fitter, you get healthier, and in the end, you overcome disease naturally. And isn't that what we want? All right? See you soon from the next hill.